I'm John McMillan. I'm here with Lockheed Martin. We're here at AUVSI here in 2015. I'm standing here with the K-Max, which we had deployed in Afghanistan for uh, three years, where we moved about four and a half million pounds. And it's been a very, very capable asset in doing cargo resupply and logistics movement. Uh, we've used a lot of navigation features on board. We have ones that we've de actually deployed, which have very embedded uh, GPS INS systems, very accurate, they're high level, they're the same type of quality as what you would see in a standard helicopter or in a manned rated asset. And what we've been able to do is we've taken that, we've been able to use our navigation technologies and take that further using other types, 2D sensors and 3D sensing to do also relative based navigation to give her higher precision. And what that allows us to do is deliver loads very, very precisely within one meter to be able to set things down and, and almost set them on top of each time, uh, on top of each other each time that they do it. And what we're looking at as we're going forward is we've done a lot of commercial applications with this as well. We've looked at firefighting. And as part of firefighting, what we have been able to show is that we can use the same type of technology, these same navigation suites, to be able to take this capability that was used in the government environment and then take it to a uh, commercial area and being used for another application. And so what we've seen is as this is being used for firefighting is you can actually increase the amount of time that you're putting fire suppressant uh, onto a fire. And what you will have is today a manned helicopter can put on fire suppressant for about eight hours of the day. They can't fly at night. And what we were able to do is use the navigation technologies, the GPS that's on board, and the high accuracy systems that we have to be able to fly these things 24-7, which is increasing it by an additional 16 hours where they can actually be putting fire suppression on the fires, which could revolutionize how UAVs are used in this arena. And it's something that we see going forward that could be used and be very, very beneficial.